Okay. A little bit, but is the, is the volume okay, baby? my Well, welcome and good evening, everyone, to another live stream. It is Samantha 
with Samantha Just Inspire. And I just want to welcome everyone tonight. Tonight is going to be an awesome night. But before I get started, I noticed that there's a lot of people in the chat tonight. And I'm going to get to you guys just a second. But tonight is going to be a great stream. We have some a special guests. A special guest in the background. And we're going to be having them on shortly. And we have another surprise guest that will be on as well. So I want to introduce myself. If you guys have not ever been on one of my live streams, I am Samantha. And on this channel, I do talk about inspirational, motivational, um, anything that inspires, motivate, and uplift, right? We build confidence here on this stream. So if you're in the chat and this is your first time and you've, you're wondering what's going on, Stay tuned because I promise you before you leave tonight, this stream, you will feel motivated. You will feel so inspired to tackle any dreams, any big dreams that you may have had in the past or you have now. You'll be able to do them and do them well. Okay, so again, I welcome everyone that's here. I will get to you guys in the chat. Trust me, I will get to you guys shortly. I have a guest that is coming on tonight and I'm not going to have her wait in the in the green room for too long and I will do introduction um I will do introduction as to who our guest is and then I will say hello to you guys and then we'll have her on okay so our guest tonight is Sedane Ricketts and she is international um, Miss Jamaica um, Sedane Ricketts is an educator with over 12 years of experience in the field of education. She holds a bachelor's degree in elementary education and a master's in educational leadership. She is um, distinguished for her remarkable teaching skills and contrib and contribute um, that Jamaican coming out of me, child. And um. Okay, give me a second. Let's skip that. For over a decade, she has been a part of a various um, of various levels of education where she has taught children across various ages. Today is currently a dean of students in St. Lucie Public School as a teacher. Um, as a teacher, as a, as a teacher and dean, she's dedicated to improving the quality of education while seeking a streamlined approach to boost learning processes for students. Sedane is the founder of a club that helps young people keep their community clean. She was named the Distinguished Minority Educator of 2020 in St. Lucie Public School. She serves as a part of the board of directors for Robin's Nest Children's Home in Jamaica and a partner with the Rose and Reed Foundation. She is also a member of Jamaican Women of Florida and Sigma Gamma Royal Sorority Incorporated. She is the International Miss Jamaica 2022. Let me say that again. She is the International Miss Jamaica 2022. And listen, I say it with proud. I'm so, I'm so proud when I say that. We'll get into that later. So I'm so glad to have her here. She's a, a um, humanitarian to the core. Sedane finds gratification in taking part in philanthropic activities like volunteering at children's homes and orphanages around the world. She is also a mentor, mentor to seniors for Scholar CC Nonprofit, amongst others. Listen, we're going to bring her on. We're going to have her come in. And we're going to welcome her, show her love, everyone in the chat. Please show her some love as we have Sedane Ricketts, Miss International Jamaica, come to the stage. Let's get a round of applause for that. Good to have Hi, you Samantha. here tonight. Good to have you here tonight. We can't start without popping off some confetti. Okay, let's let's give her some confetti like we do on this stream. How are you, Sedane? How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Thank I'm you for having great. me. Can you hear? Can you hear me? Okay. 
I hear you great. Okay, and everyone in the chat, we're going to get in the chat because we have a lot of people in there and they're saying hello. We can't leave them wandering. We got to speak to them and say what how they're doing. But how was your day today? Just wanted to introduce you. I hope I did justice to that introduction. As much as I tried to read, I hope I did justice to your introduction. You but did. You did. You did a fantastic job. Thank you. I am so honored to have you here. And I know that your journey, I know that you're busy. So we're prom we're not going to keep you long, but I know we have some questions for you. And I have a surprise guest in the back as well that will be joining us shortly. So we will get into right. that. So I'm going to jump in the chat. Say hello to everyone. We have, of course, I don't know why my text is not coming up. Give me a second. Let me check on that. Oh, I see why. Okay, there you go. Hey, everyone, while you find them. <laughs> Let me see if I Thank can Thank you see. so much for coming and supporting us. Figure out why my chat is lost. All right, so we have, of course, my daughter's here. She's always here. Um, and we have a few people in the chat. Just give me a second. Let me edit it before I before I move on. Okay. So I can see the chat. I want to be able to see everybody's um, comments as they post them. Um let's hide this as well then edit it on the fly as always you guys won't see that but you guys will be able to see the words once i do that so there you go all right and that background color should let's see pink there you go guys all right, so we have, and listen, there's a lot of, um, I don't know if they're all from Jamaica, but there's a group of them that's Jamaican on this stream. So I know that they're proud, they're super, super proud because you're Jamaican as well. So I know they're going to be very excited once we start talking about your history and things. Hi, good to have you, sis. I think this is your first time here. So if you're first time, you always get confetti. We know that. And this is my mom here. So excited about tonight's live stream. And of course, Nitro Hi, is mommy. in the building. Um, my friend Nitro is a streamer. Good to have you hey, here. Hey, Nitro. Good to have you in the house. And of course, this is my daughter, Haley. She's on the other um, computer using my name. She's always in here as well supporting Hi, Haley. her mom. Good to have you. Success driven. Yes, 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 yes. I love it. Good to see you in the house tonight. Good to see you. And of course, they're always talking in, amongst themselves, which is good. I, what I love about live streaming, just to get it out there, is to communicate and talk to people that come in the stream. I've met mm -hmm. so many good, and I know you're going to talk about your journey and how you have met so many people doing what you're doing. So we'll get into that as well. Okay. Um, today. Um, yes. <laughs> uh, can you read the chat? I'm going to, because, you know, they talk, they're Jamaican slang. Oh. Uh. I can read it, but it's very small. It's small for you to see. So, okay, welcome exactly. everybody. Hello everyone. I see it. you. I see you. Thanks for supporting. I appreciate your support. I see you, CJ. Hi, CJ. Hi, CJ. Good to have you here tonight, CJ. Good to have you in the house. And he's saying hi to Haley. Hey, Haley. We may do some mat tonight. We may do some mat tonight. Hello, Sammy Superstar. Good to have you in the house tonight. And our gaming. Hola, Samantha. How are you? Good to have you here. My CL Marcano. Good to have you. First time seeing you here tonight. Of course, confetti, confetti for you. So thanks for being here in the stream. Um, and CJ is saying, oh my gosh. Um, I have the opportunity to see Miss Jamaica 2022. <laughs> yes, CJ. She's here tonight. She's here tonight. Um, mm -hmm. Hello. Excited about Sedane. Hi. Good to have you in the house. First time seeing you here as well. Good to have Hi, you Hi, Lorenzo. Here. There's someone that you know, Sedane? I do know Maciel. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Good to have you guys in the house. Good to have you guys. Go on. Good to see you. We are here. Southern, Southern Oaks. 
Okay. Yes. Yes. Good to have you guys here. Yes, awesome. it is Miss International Miss Jamaica 2022. Hey, Marcial, I see you. Thank you. Listen, they're gonna. They, I don't listen, you guys. She's my guest. Please behave yourself. Motion detected at your front door. Larry and Marcial. Okay. Hey, everyone. Amazing and wonderful woman of God with, um, with always helping others. Very good. This is, we're going to talk about that because we're coming, from, they don't know, but we're coming from that place, right? Today, we're coming from the church, the church days, right? That's yes. right. That's right. Yes. We've known each other for quite some time. Yes, this is Rohan and Yemen. Def <laughs> I can't speak Jamaican on the stream, guys. And Haley saying hello. Definitely day day he said yes. he's here. Hi, Josh. She's saying, hi, saying Josh. hi, Miss Jamaica. We are so proud of you. You're beautiful and th all throughout. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Josh. That's really sweet. Oh, wow. Nitro said Miss Jamaica called my name. <laughs> yes, Nitro. <laughs> so good. So good. So good. Um, I work with her. She's such a beautiful person. That we know. So then it's so you, awesome Marcia. with the kids. Good. Awesome. They're telling Thank all your you. secrets today and all your secrets are being told. Oh, everything is coming out. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Thanks. Um, thanks, Art Gaming. Hi, this is Larry. I'm with Marcel. Good to have you in the house. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're gonna get started because I won't get through the chat. Okay. We'll go through okay. it little by little. So let's start. Hi, Larry. Listen, 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 listen. Um, I have a, I have someone that's very excited in the, in the back right here. She's very excited. We'll talk to her about okay. that in a little bit. Okay. okay. So the first thing I want to do before we get into, because we have one more guest to bring on. Okay. We're gonna do our affirmation, okay. which is something that I do every time when I start a stream. I pull out some affirmation from my jar. So you're mm -hmm. our guest tonight. So we're gonna ask you to pick a number. Okay? okay, and we'll do that and then we'll read them and then we'll we'll get into some questions and then we're gonna bring on our next guest. Okay, all right. So, so pick a like number and let me two. know. Number two, two. she says Let's two. Go with two. We're gonna do two tonight. And then two. don't worry, guys, we'll get in the chat. We'll get in the chat. We will get in the chat. So the affirmations and Sedane, what I want you to do mm -hmm. when I say them, I want you to repeat them after me, okay? Because Got what it. I do. Um, I always tell everyone in the audience to read them aloud and look yourself in the mirror when you say it, right? Say it with, like, power. Be so positive about it. The first one is, I am of worth. Okay? I am of worth. Amen. I love it. Now, say it a little bit. Say it with more power than that, Sadie. Give me some more. I am of worth. All right. And the next one is, I am renewed. I am renewed. All right, can let me ask a question. Can you guys hear her um, loudly? Let me see if I need to turn your mic up a little bit, Sadine. Let me check your mic. See if your mic can go any higher. Okay. If you guys can are you hear her, me? okay. I can hear Tell you. Let me chat. know in the comments, guys, if she's okay and you guys are hearing her um, clearly, okay? All right. Okay, so before we get into the questions... I have a surprise guest, okay? All right. And I know you may know who it is already. We're going to have her come on. So I hope you can hear me. Where's my phone? We're going to have her come on. We're going to have her join. Mm -hmm. Let me get her in. Ah, she's ready. She is ready. She's ready. She's ready. We're going to have her come in. And we're going to have her introduce herself as well. And then we'll get into some questions, okay? Okay. Okay. All right, so let me see if you're ready to come in here. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready backstage? Are you ready? All right. Well, well, well. Hi, Good evening. <laughs> good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. We have another guest on the show. And I want you to introduce yourself and tell them who you are. And don't 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 miss that little detail, that 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 the <laughs> that little detail of who you really are to me, okay? Because I want them to know that, you know, I got a little royalty well, in my family, too. I'm just kidding. Let's start with that detail, then. All right. 
<laughs> Let's start with that detail. So excited. Sudain, hello, hello. Hello, everybody who is tuning in and watching. Really, really thrilled to be joining the conversation tonight. My name is Candy Sterling, and I was International Miss Jamaica 2019, and so super thrilled for Sudain and her reign. And beyond the Beyond the crown, I should say, I am a personal brand strategist and the founder of On Her Mission, which is a brand strategy hub with master classes and courses that helps women entrepreneurs who feel stuck and uncertain about how to move forward, take the next step and execute amazing personal brand strategies that noticeably move the needle in their business and create more quality fans for their brand. So I love what I do in the brand strategy, brand strategy space. And full transparency, I do have my little one with me here tonight. I am a new mom. My daughter's four months old, so that has been a really exciting part of this journey as well. So she is listening in, and if you ever see me pop down, it's simply to tend to her, <laughs> just so you guys know, like, what's going on? Um, so anyhow, that's me, and I'm just thrilled to be here tonight. Yes, good to, good to have you here, Candy. And I called her because um, when I... And I um, invited you to be a guest. I said, what better way to have you step out into this journey than to have someone that was reigning in that seat, right? So I decided to give her a ring, you know, hey, my friend there, this close person to me that I used to probably change her diapers when, yeah, don't say that. Maybe not. Uh, I think we're around the same age. So we used to play a lot together. Decided to call and hopefully she was like, yes, definitely. And she was like, of course, Sam, why not? So tonight, we're just going to do a little dialogue about your journey, um, Sedane. And the first question is, what made you decide to do this? What was your first, um, what made you decide to do Miss um, International Miss Jamaica? Well, it's always been a life goal of mine. It's been a dream since I was a little girl. I wanted to actually do Miss Jamaica as a little girl and I did get married young. And so um, recently I was like, you know what? I'm leaving no stones on turn. It's never too late. And I did my research. I found International Miss and I was able to earn the title of International Miss Jamaica. And Candy, it's such a great pleasure to see you. You're gorgeous. It's been an awesome journey in getting to know you and following in your footsteps. Good, good, good. Now. Um, I know you said you wanted to be international miss from you as a little girl. Mm -hmm. Was there a, I wanted to do pageantry. Pageantry. Was there like something that happened in your life? Was there, you know, someone else that you knew that did that? Or that was just something that you're just passionate about? No, I didn't know anyone. I think as a little girl in Jamaica, people would always comment on like, I should be a model. I should be an actress. You know, they always <laughs> comment on my look because I think sometimes people think my look is a little unique um, for being Jamaican. However, being growing up in Jamaica, you don't think so. Um, so, you know, people have always commented. Um, I, growing up, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to model at one point. My, my dad was not having that. He was no. like, go get your education. Now I'm grown and I don't need permission. So <laughs> it's been an awesome journey. He's right here on probably supporting me. So. Yeah, so it was something I've always wanted to do, but my focus at first in life was to get my education first. and get my career going and get my family going. And now I have all those ducks in a row. I can definitely leave no stones on turn. Um, that is awesome. And I like what you said because I have a lot of um, a lot of people in the chat tonight. They're still in school. And I know in your bio, we talked about you loving children and and even someone said in the chat that you take so good, so much good care of kids. What would you um, give to anyone that's in the chat right now to say, stay focused on your schooling because it's never too late to do your dreams, but make sure that your education comes first. What would you tell someone that thinks that, you know, I won't have enough time to do something like this? There's always time. I think, you know, staying focused and enjoying the moment. I realize, you know, when you're in school, you want to focus on that and do well, but you want to also enjoy the moment. We often look back 
on our days in school. We often look back on those memories and those memories last forever. So don't focus too much on the future. I say enjoy the moment and do well in that because that sets you up for success in life. That sets you, sets you up for challenges in life. Right. You know, because you realize the older you get, the things you go through is not as um, light as the things you went through before, but every area in your life, it's heavy, it feels heavy. But when we focus in that moment, we can get good grades. I want y'all to focus on getting your education and getting good grades and doing well and maximizing your potential in that area. Because when you get older, you look back, you're like, I miss those days. I miss those days when I only had homework. I miss those days when I only had to go to class. I miss those days when it was just me sometimes and you can just lay in the bed and sleep, right? So I, I focus on where you are. Enjoy those moments, enjoy the journey. That is the most important thing. Enjoy the journey. You never want to, I always say, don't have, don't, don't try to worry about the things that you didn't do. Um, on Tuesday, mm-hmm. I didn't do a stream like I normally would. And I could have, mm-hmm. you know, I felt, I felt a little bit bad, but I was like, you know what? Let me enjoy the moment because tomorrow is still another day. I can do something else tomorrow. So never think that you're not going to be able to do all the things that you want to do. Focus on what's important and do the things that are most important because everything will fall in line. As a Christian, growing up in church, I know that everything works out for the mm-hmm. good. It doesn't matter how it may seem. When we're growing up as ch- children, we're probably saying, well, I'm never going to be able to do that because this and because of that. But the truth is, you get to do what you're supposed to do regardless, right? If we just so stay true. focused and keep our head on the, the things that's important at that moment. Now, Candy, so I want you to, to chime in here for me. I want you to chime in. And let me add, why is her camera not add? I want you to chime in for me. And I'm going to actually put you on a different screen because I can't get her camera up here. Why is the camera not here? I'm still here. I know you are still here, but you shouldn't just be there. <laughs> okay, I got it. One second, guys. This is the, this is the, um, where is it? Guess camera, this one. Candy, I'm going to hide you. And then this it's one. the art of navigating a live stream. Is what art it is. of navigating a live stream. Tell me about it. Because and I you don't get today. Samantha. You think so? Yeah. I do, I do. Better than I would be. <laughs> I have pros everywhere. I'm going to just come off of this screen because this screen is giving me a hard time. Okay. I can't find, I can't find today's um, camera. Um, let's see if I turn it off and turn it on. No, 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 no. Don't mess with your camera. <laughs> okay, don't mess with it. We'll just go to a different screen. That's fine. We have plenty of them that we can work with. So let's we'll awesome. stay here. So, Candy, tell me a little bit about, like, not even tell me, tell Sedane um, a little bit about your journey and what you had to go through or what you went through when you were in that process. Like, just something to motivate her, <laughs> to let her understand that she's here now. Right, it's not going to be easy. Or whatever the case may be, because I'm not, I'm not a Miss Jamaica yet, right? Yeah. Yet, right? <laughs> so you can let her know um, what to expect. What to expect. So first, I want to comment on Sudan's commitment to education, and I'm going to double down on that for anybody who is listening in. It's so important, um, and especially to me. So during my reign in 2019 is actually when I had finished up my master's degree and um, in, li- in library and information science, and it was part of the journey that year. And so to segue into Samantha's question of what to expect, uh, expect that the journey is going to really become part of your life. Uh, And whatever is going on right now in this moment is all part of the rain and to really just embrace it, make it part of uh, your your campaign, make it part of, you know, showing up and sharing who you are and why you are a delegate, um, you know, with International Miz. And I think that that is really the key thing I want to impart is where you are now, it's part of that journey, embrace it. Uh, and make it part of the story. And I think that uh, being a, a queen, it's a lot about storytelling. 
And it's a lot about sharing the moments and, and, and sharing the inspiration and, and just sharing and giving a little bit of a, a little bit of a glimpse into, you know, what it's like to be somebody who takes on leadership, who takes on the role of a title holder, in addition to having a career and other commitments and a family. And, and that's a big deal. So uh, hopefully for you and for everybody else listening tonight, that's a helpful tip uh, for whenever you're going through anything to really just, it's part of the story and it's all part of the journey. And so embrace that. Good, good answer. I have a question um, um, because this is something that um, I wanted to just segue into it just a little bit. We heard about the story of the, the young lady that took her life the other day, um, mm -hmm. right? And I always say that we never know what people are going through. We always look and they're pretty and they're smiling. They're always, you know, happy and they're, but we never know um, what they're really going through. And we should always take the time to stay close to people, right? Be an advocate for your sisters, for your brothers, um, just check on them. And into this, driving into this question, I wanted to ask you today, how are you, how has your life changed? Um, being in this role, um, give us a little insight on that. Like, how has that changed your life, your mindset, how you think and how you maneuver with your children and with your friends around you? So all of my life, I've been keen on balance. Um, I like to maintain a certain balance. And my heart goes out to Chesley Press and her family and also the young lady in Miami. Um, we never know what people are going through, but so far I've just keen myself on balance and I give international Miss Jamaica myself, me, all of me. So when I came into this, I've al I already was living the lifestyle of who I am and knew who I, who I was before um, accepting the title as international Miss Jamaica. And that has been a blessing for me. So I've been balancing it. It is a lot more work than I was doing before because as a reigning queen and a title holder and a delegate for the um, title, the official crown in September of 2022, it does take work. But when you accept that challenge, you know that you have to put in the work. And that's what I've been doing. So, so far I've been balanced and everything. And I just live on that, just balance, keeping a good sense of balance. Now, um, Kenny, do you, um, do you have any tips on how she can keep that balance to maintain and not to, you know, like, is it support so, she needs or how can she keep that balance? I love this topic. Uh, so funny. I was just on a panel last night and it was all about self-care, confidence, self-love, and so I'm going to just definitely emphasize that theme of that self-care piece. And an actionable thing that I think is really important when it comes to self-care is to put yourself in environments that foster a culture of care and a culture of kindness. And to that will just be one of those ways where you can always keep a bubble of positivity and a bubble of inspiration around you at all times. I don't know if anybody out there has ever experienced a toxic environment. Anyone? Right. Uh, <laughs> but oh, yes. It, it can crush you. You know, it can really crush your soul. It can really crush your spirit. It can zap your motivation. It can just wreak havoc on your day and on your goals. Most importantly, it can just tear your goals apart. So I think it's so, so important to surround yourself as, as best to your ability uh, with positive mindset people that are moving forward that or, or even just somebody who just you know, has a great energy. Um, and one of the things I always believe energy is contagious. And so I think that that's really important to be mindful of who we're around because it rubs off on us and, and vice versa as well. So that's what I have to say uh, when it comes to, to that particular question. So true, Candy. So true. Definitely. Self-care is so important. I, and, and getting know, the and help you need too when you need it. Um, talk to somebody. Don't be afraid. Being open. Talk because a lot of someone, times having an outlet. A lot of times we are afraid of that, right? Mm -hmm. You know, someone see you as so strong. They see, oh, that's Miss Miss USA. That's Miss. Jim. She, she's 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 fine. She has friends. She has an entourage, and they they don't know that there's a song that says they don't know that I go 
running back home that I go crying, right? Remember that church song back in the day? They don't know what you do when you're in your closed door. So it's good mm -hmm. to open up and, and have that friendship with people that are, that wants to see you succeed, right? This, this, the stigma about other women not wanting to be there. That's, that's, that's a stigma that we need to get out of and love to support each other and build mm -hmm. our sisters, build them mm -hmm. so that they can be the woman and not have to do things like, the, like the young lady. So I love that. I'm um, candy. Self-care is definitely needed. It's needed. Mm -hmm. And not if you're in the position, but in your life in general, your life mm -hmm. in general, you should always take the time to pamper yourself motivate yourself. I'm big on affirmations. I'm so big on them because those are the words that gives you that positive mindset, right? You get, I am beautiful. I am strong. I am creative. I am unique. Using those words help to build your courage and your confidence. I'm here. You guys may think I'm doing good, but my stomach is doing this thing that's going like this. Don't laugh. You guys are queens, right? I'm just sitting here talking, but I'm telling you, sometimes we don't know that we go through these things and I wanted to talk a little bit, um, Sadine, on the things that you are doing now. And I know that you were a teacher before. Are you still teaching at this time? And did the transition from being a teacher to now Miss Jamaica, how did that affect, um, what, what effect did it have on your life when you did that transition? So I'm no longer in the classroom. I'm a dean of students now. So I do work with students, but a larger body. Okay. Um, of students. Okay. okay. So, so the effect, the effect is, is I, I live my life compartmentalized, I like to okay. say. So I didn't bring it to work and say, hey, guys, guess what? I'm international Miss Jamaica. But my students found out. They are very savvy on social media. Yes. My coworkers are. found out. And it's been a positive, 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 welcoming and warm felt love from everybody. Um, and but it's great for me because I can um, pass on confidence to the young ladies that I come in contact right. with every day. I can teach them self love, self care because what we deal with at the age level that I work with is a lot of students who are trying to find themselves and find their confidence, and they struggle with their mm. identity. And so me having this international Miss title as well as confident in my identity, it's easier for them to, to entrust them with that confidence and teach them the skills that they need to love themselves and gain that confidence. Now I have some, I have Nitro here in a chat saying he's a newly crowned Mr. Jamaica. You know what hey, Nitro. Is? Yes, I think we should have All a right, Mr. Jamaica. Uh, for, 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 the, for the gentlemen, don't you think? Right? Yeah. That definitely, definitely. I have all of them saying that they're newly crowned bald man 2022 by default. I was chosen. Listen. All right. Um, <laughs> Josh is saying my daydreaming has come to pass. I am surrounded by three beautiful women, beauty and brains. <laughs> Congratulations, Nitro. Listen, I want to, I want to pause for just one second. And the thing is when I started doing YouTube, I didn't, have a plan. I didn't really have a plan. I know that I wanted to inspire. It was when COVID happened, right? And I wanted to be able to just to get on here and talk to people about motivating them. I needed it myself, but I figured, you know, I can give something back. And I decided to get on here and, and I was afraid. I'm still nervous. But what I find is that when you open your mouth to speak and you let that spirit um, lead you, you motivate people in ways that you would never imagine. I get comments sometimes mm -hmm. that say, Sam, I needed to hear that. And I go back into my closet and I said, well, I didn't know I was going to say that. Like that wasn't planned. So mm -hmm. the question that is, I'm saying this to ask a question, do you think that you're, I know both of you guys are, are, are Christians. Um, how is your spiritual life play a part in the roles that you guys are in? And either one can start to answer first. How do you feel that your Christian role play a part in the advocacy that you have for children, for women and things like that? Oh, it's in everything I do. I feel like everything I do is the calling on my life and it's an alignment. Right. Um, so connecting with that Holy Spirit and getting that as my God is so important. Like you said, you know, sometimes we touch people and we don't have the right words, but the Lord lead us yes. and we are able to communicate the right words that can touch another soul. I like to consider myself as a seed dropper. So everything I do, I'm dropping the, the seed that the Holy Spirit on, wants me to on, drop and on. I allow we'll see, him and see. others to water it.
Yes, 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 yes. A nice one. So I, I think of all different. of us as sea droppers. You know, I think um, it, no matter, we're all queens. We all hold some kind of title and we can use that in a positive way. And so my goal with this is always to use it in a positive way, but let the Holy Spirit lead me because what's for me can't be on for me. Okay. So I, I just it. like to move being a dropper of, of whatever God wants me to drop, whoever he wants me to touch. He makes a difference. Because I do hear people come to me all the time say, you inspire me. But to my to myself, I'm like, I'm just living. I'm just doing what I do. And then, they're, you know, they're, they're always saying that. But it's just because I give everything 110%. But that's not me. It's God through me. Right. Um, it's God through me why I walk in love and service. That's where I'm happy. So he's been working through me, flowing through me for years. And I think because we're older, we, you know, we kind of know when it's the Holy Spirit moving us. We know what's for us and and what's not for us based on our calling on our life, so, and how he's using us. Okay, Candy. And so for me, I think very similar, it's about, you know, in alignment with what the Christian spirit represents and uh, what that really means um, to say, you know, you're, you're going to put your faith or you're going to live a life where it, your faith and your spirituality is intertwined, it really comes out and manifests in how you're treating others and how you are being of service to yourself, your family, your community. And that's the, that's, that's the real work, <laughs> you know, and that's the real sort of, you know, the principles when you're, when you're thinking about, you know, the time that, you know, when Jesus walked the earth, you know, the behaviors to have and, 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 and what to strive for and, and, and what to teach our children in terms of how to be a better people. And for me, that's really important um, is, is, is to be a good person and to always work every day to, to become better. I think it's a really strong, powerful value, and I think that it really aligns so well with pageantry um, and with anyone who is saying, I'm going to step onto a platform as a leader and because I want to help make XYZ community better. So to me, that's how, that's the connection, and that's how it um, is, is linked, really, how, how the two connect. Right. Um, I love so your Can answers. I piggyback on what Candy said? I love like, yes. how she brought up leadership. And yes. I wanted to just piggyback and add on to that, Candy, because all leaders are servants. And, you know, from our Christianity and our from our upbringing and our learning and our teaching, we know that our Heavenly Father was a servant. And so, you know, even in this role, I, I'm here to serve. I'm doing this, I'm international mission maker, but it's an act of service because I have a platform. I'm serving many others. Okay, so definitely love that leadership comment. I have a question in the chat from Philly Big Bully. He says to Dane specifically, why should the judges choose you this year? <laughs> now they're giving you a, a, a good good platform for you to practice Hi. on your answers. <laughs> Absolutely. Hi, Philly Big Bully. Um, thank you for that question. I think the judge should choose me this year. I know there's going to be a lot of other fantastic candidates, but I think that they should choose me because I bring the elegance and the entrepreneurship that they're looking for. I come with lots of experience in serving, and I'm going to continue to serve because I live a lifestyle of service. So I think the judge will see that I live that lifestyle of service, and that's exactly what they're looking for to carry on the torch that Candy once carried before me, I want to carry that torch of service. So when they pick me, hopefully, and claiming it, that they're going to pick me is to continue that mission of service and entrepreneurship and the elegance of international miss. Wow, let's see. I think I think she won, right? Good job. Okay. Um, thanks for the encouraging words, Candy. Josh Cole is saying thank you. And we have an AJ in the house, Kings and Queens. He's saying hello. Um, and also another friend of mine, Gary, is in the house as well. Hi, Gary. Good to have you here. And we have another question here for Candy. And she says, um, so says, Candy, how do you feel um, not being the queen? <laughs> 
So I have a very simple answer to that. We are all queens. Yes. All the time. We are all queens all the yes. time. So I actually can't answer the question. <laughs> um, because that's my belief that I hold um, 100%. And that's the message that I like to spread to all women uh, that I come into contact with. I, we're all queens. <laughs> She's still my queen. I love Candy. She's still the queen. Candy and I still talk all the time. She mentors me, she inspires me. So I just thank Candy for her dedication to me and for handing that torch to me. And I hope to take it all the way this time, Candy. It's yes. ours together. Definitely. So uh, we have Wayne in the house. Now, Wayne Merchant is the founder of Roseanne Reed Foundation. And Sedane is a part um, of that organization as well. So Wayne is here in the house. Good to have you, Wayne. Hi, Good Wayne. to have you in the house. Okay, and now let's see if we have any more questions in the chat. And then we will, uh, let me see. True Kings um, of Jamaica, we are here. Yes, and it is Black History Month, so this was the perfect time to, because um, we're all Jamaicans, and that is just like, amazing to me like I'm so sitting when I saw it and I and I saw it and I heard I was like Sedane like wait I went back way back you know like Sedane really I was like oh my gosh I was literally excited for you I was like really and then when you reached out to me I was like get to Kate I was like of course like I could just dial her number and I was like this is such a great opportunity so I'm so super proud of of you for being in this position um, I have success driven saying the power of motivation is within us. We must realize the power we have with life in the tongue of how God allows us to touch each other based on what we allow to soak in our souls. And that is so true. What we take in is what we're going to give out. Whatever we allow to get invade into that secret place is what we're gonna be able to put out into the world, what we're gonna be able to manifest. And when you talk about today and you wanting to do education and advocate and candy, the same for you, is because that is what was that is what you allow to get into your spirit, right? Those are the things that you spent the years doing, getting your education, finding the time to love, to care, and, and to you know be there for others. So this is definitely a powerful, powerful um, comment. Um, thank you very much, Success Driven. And she says, powerful words to Dane, Miss Jamaica. Yes, 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 yes. Um, service, I got Mill B's in here. Service before um, self and excellence in all we do. We're here for service. We are definitely here for service, right? Um, I have another right. question. Um, so, Dane, how do you feel? Um, how do you feel be the queen, my lady? Um, it's, How do you feel? It's a great feeling, but like Candy said, we're all kings and queens. We're all royalty in our own right. So I felt like a queen before, but even more so now, I just feel like I have a bigger platform to make an impact, mm -hmm. more pressure on me to do as God has called me to do and serve. But so far, it's been wonderful. When you have great people like Candy and Samantha to support you, it's, it's been a good journey. I can't complain for sure. Samantha, I wanted to piggyback on what you said. We've known yes. each other for years. Yes. So, little girls. Yes. So yes. I'm so proud we of can't. All that we can't. Too. Huh? Thank you so much. We can't talk about that on the stream, though. That was when we were babies and little kids. You know, doing yeah, long time ago. I will say though that um, just to talk about my cousin, you know, just talk about Paulette not being here. She would be so proud of you. She'll be proud of you right now to see you in this year. You know, she'll be all over. She'll be all over right now. Um, and it's 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 good to know that you can, I can truly say like, I know Sedane, we church and, and, and hanging out and and she's in this platform right now. It's, it's an amazing feeling. And having my cousin, my own, being in that shoe as well, and she's even, you know, doing judging and things. It's, it's awesome. And we, it's awesome. And we are black women, right? We're taking a stand. We're doing something. We're not just sitting back and letting the, the stigma stick, right? We're doing more. We're doing more and more than probably we should even be able to do. But we're still 
striving for that greatness, right? It's amazing. So thank you for that. I'm here on this platform. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm here and I'm just speaking, right? <laughs> I'm just speaking. So thank You're you so much for it. that comment. Um, of course. It's called growth, you know? Yes. We, yes, We don't want to talk about it, but we can talk about it because it's growth. Yes. We've come a long way. A long From little way. little girls going to church to now. Long way. Sometimes we didn't want to go, right? We wanted to just play. <laughs> We <laughs> just wanted to play around. We don't want to have to go back to Evelyn's service. We already waited the morning, right? Yes. Um, definitely. But how God orchestrates our lives in these ways, we don't see it until we're there. And I know you, you alluded to it earlier that the things that we go through is what propels us for the future. Don't worry about if it's, you know, you don't see how it looks today. We're never going to see the big picture we're never going to see the picture where we're standing. We're going to have to walk into that. We're not going to see it just by standing here. Have that faith, that mindset that I can do that. That is my dream and that is my passion. And I will be able to do that one day. May not be today, but I will work towards it. And I will keep that faith and I will do the work to get there. Right. And I know from for, for Candy, it's it wasn't some. I know you've always wanted to do this. Right. And when that opportunity came, and you were able to walk into that, I know that you were on top of the world, right? Because it was something that you dream of as little girls. Every little girl wants to put on the crown and dress up like princess and, you know, the beautiful white dress. When I told my daughter about it, she was like, mommy, what is, she saw your picture, she's like, oh my gosh, mommy, she's so pretty. And I'm like, yes, yeah, she's beautiful. And she's like, what is that? What is she a queen? I'm like, yes, she is, honey. And I said, you could be a queen too. So little girls look at those things and I love, 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 love that you're advocating for these young girls, that you're advocating for these kids that sometimes feel like they're not pretty enough or feel like their skin is too dark or feel like, and I'm sorry guys, I'm high yellow, I apologize, right? But I am a true black Jamaican, okay? I'm really Jamaican inside, right? But we, we have to p p pick them up. We have to tell them you're beautiful just the way you are. Nothing needs to change, absolutely nothing. Do whatever it is that you wanna do. You can be Miss Anything, Miss Universe, if that is your dream, right? Um, I'm talking too much. Go ahead, Candy, take it away. Take it away, take it away, take it away. Take it away, so take it away, take it away. This is really bringing up something so important about just how critical and crucial it is to have vision Yes. And to really hold the vision. And that really is what sort of, you know, establishes, okay, here are the goals we're going to set based on that vision. And, you know, something that we, you both have been saying is just getting in motion and not worrying about, oh, I don't know everything or, and that's okay. Because one thing I believe is the how is in the now. So just take a step <laughs> and you're going to end your, you will take the next step. Do not worry. That will come because that's what happens. But just take that first step and know that, you know, you're stepping towards that vision. This is what it's looking like. And you're going to learn some things along the way. It's not always, a, it's rarely that I've ever seen a straight, you know, a straight road. It's, it's like a GPS. You're going to take a couple of turns. There's going to be some detours. There's going to be an accident that happened that now you're going to have to navigate around. And then there's going to be a road getting a little bit of maintenance and whatever it is. But you know where you're going and you're on your way. And I think that that is why vision is so important um, to, to what we're talking about here and, and having that and, and just never letting it go. I have a question um, This from Martis Hall. It says, define the word beauty. And and Martis, before I have the, the two queens answer this question, um, I did a video the other day. I don't know if any one of you saw it here. I did a video the other day um, uh, my black is beautiful and I'm not going to tell you guys all about it. Go and watch it. But it's a six minute video about my black is beautiful. And I did it where I had on makeup. I had on all these things, all these things. And I just wiped all that off right in the video, wiped it all off and took my hair out, my natural hair. And that is beautiful to me. It's just the way you are, just mm -hmm. who you are. Nothing added, nothing from deep within whatever comes out. That is the true beauty it's not what's on the magazine covers right mm -hmm. so take it away my two beautiful queens anyone wants to go first again 
Well, beauty for me is authenticity. Like you said, it's basically who you are and loving who you are. I think authentic people are the most beautiful people on earth. When you know yourself and you're truly being true to yourself, there's just such a beauty, it's such something that stands out about you. Um, so I think beauty comes from within and your authenticity comes from within. So when you know who you are, you're beautiful. It's not about how you look physically all the time. You know, it's about portraying and giving that aura that I am comfortable in my skin, no matter the color of your skin. I am comfortable regardless of my flaws. I've accepted those. I'm comfortable with my strengths. I've accepted those because we're all imperfect. And so beauty is just another vision of imperfection with confidence. Good answer, Miss Candy. And I know that I'll go back to this screen for you. I love that answer. I yes. agree 100%. And I would say to add to that, that beauty is anything, anyone who evokes or that evokes a beautiful feeling. Because at the end of the day, it's, you know, being in the world and how do things, how are things making you feel? And if it's giving off that beautiful feeling, then that's beautiful. You know, they always say it's in the eye of the beholder, right? Beauty, um, you could find beauty in so many different things. Beauty is all around. So whether it's a person who gives you that beautiful feeling, you see them, you're like, oh my gosh, they're so beautiful because you, for whatever reason, they're beautiful. They have amazing eyes. They have an amazing soul. It doesn't yeah. matter what it is it's that feeling that, that's coming out um because you know you could be aesthetically you know it doesn't matter what but if that feeling isn't there if something's still off you know that 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 has an impact on how you're making others feel and how people feel so i think that you know the authenticity and the feeling that comes with it is definitely for me how i would define beauty I also want to add a word to beauty, confidence. I think yes. they go together. Have you looked at some people? You're like, man, that person is just beautiful because they, the way they everything want. about them is just confidence. When they yes. step into a room, they hold that room. You know, yes. they're just confident within themselves. So I feel like it comes from inner to outer, but it's that inner confidence that shines, that inner authenticity that shines. Good. That's definitely a good way to put it together, confidence and beauty. A lot of times, beauty is what you think. It's what's in your it's what's in your head. It's not what you see. Close your eyes, and you can feel that you're beautiful by what you tell yourself, by what you have in your head, not always by how you look. Um, I I I don't know why my my chat. I, I think maybe this is something for you ladies to 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 add. But everyone wants to be Mr. Jamaica, right? <laughs> we have another person that you know. Can I be Mr. Jamaica too, right? Um, everyone wants to be Mr. Jamaica. Is that that we're gonna have to look into that, that Candy? <laughs> yes, maybe we can look into there that may, and see. There may already be. be. I, I have seen. I know that there are uh, there are pageants for men, so they're sure. Yes, the opportunity awaits. <laughs> it yes, does. Yes, definitely. Uh, let's see. Um, Susu, no backwards plan needed for um for the crown. You are most deserving. Definitely. Definitely. Thank you so much, Marcus. I think you the you 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 walk you owned it. You owned it. I mean, I read your your bio and I was like, oh, you're so tiny. Like you're doing all. You're so tiny, Sudan. You're so little. You're the dean of these students. You're so little. Don't they push you over when you're walking? No, in the they don't. <laughs> They absolutely don't. I think, again, it's the aura you carry, the confidence yes. you carry. Kids know who they can play with, and they know they can't play with me. So, yeah. But we have a good time. It's about relationships. Everything is about relationships at the end of the day. It's about those connections you make. I'm there walking in love because I love them. I love what I do. I enjoy it. It doesn't feel like work. It's an honest gift for me. So the kids know no matter how I look, I may look like one of them. I mean can basically walk around and look like a student. They still respect me. They still know when I say stop to stop, you know, they listen. So that's a good, that's a good thing, especially being Dean, because that's, I deal with a lot of discipline. Right. A lot of discipline, right? Let me ask a question. Um, I have CJ saying that Miss Candy looks like an actress. 
Miss Candy looks like an actress. <laughs> um, Thank you. <laughs> with that, with that, um, CJ, the question is, what plans do you guys have? Um, so then I know you're going for the pageant coming up in September. Um, but for both of you, what plans do you have past that, um, Sedane and Candy, for your future? Are you thinking of entering into the into the Miss USA or anything else? What are you What are you guys' future? What do you see for yourself today? Do you see any more pageantry after sep September, Sedane, and yourself, Candy? Do you see any more of that? So I'll go ahead. Oh, go ahead, Sedane. Go ahead, Candy. You lead the way. <laughs> so uh, for me personally, I would love, I, I love pageantry. I think it's such an amazing um, experience. The experience is really great. I connected with incredible women, the community, especially at the Ms. and Mrs. level. I, 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 I'm just in love. And I think there's just so many beautiful, amazing souls, inspiring people. Uh, that are that are involved um, in the world of pageantry. Mm -hmm. So the community alone is 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 just such a pull, such a magnetic pull. So absolutely, uh, in the future, that is always a door that I like to keep open for myself. And my immediate priority, in addition to being a new mama, is uh, to you know, 100% focus on my business as a brand strategist, building the On Her Mission brand strategy hub because. Being in marketing communications for fi nearly 15 years and all of the, what I have seen and how to launch a visibility campaign, how to establish a personal brand, how to really start something like you are doing, an original brand, Samantha, that is not easy to do. It is it is just worth so much praise and, and, and I have so much respect for anyone who says, I'm going to start a business, I'm gonna be an entrepreneur, I'm going to get my, my message out there, I'm gonna get my value out there, I think it's amazing. So for me, my role is I want to help more women do that. I wanna help them live that dream and that is my immediate focus 100% and super excited. So I'll be teaching a lot more master classes in 2022 a lot of great stuff rolling out through the On Her Mission platform. So those are my immediate plans coming up next is to really just help more women entrepreneurs get strategic, get their brand out there, and just really live their best life and be their, their best, highest selves. So for me, my future plans are I'm looking to continue my path in leadership in the school education system. I'm hoping to continue serving orphanages and um, children's home around the world by volunteering. I'm looking forward to that. When I think of my vision and how I want to be remembered, I guide my life based on those. I'm looking forward to having my book come out, my children's book come out this year. I'm super excited about that. Good. Uh, I'm just looking forward into growing as a person and just evolving and enjoying each moment. Um, I have some, there's some, a lot of ideas that I'm working on and as they get closer, I want to continue to manifest and open it up to the world. So I'm happy that Candy talked about entrepreneurship. That is a route that I want to take with my life. I want God, God to continue to guide me in that route. But just being a leader, just being impactful, just serving and loving others is the route and the journey that I'm on. And I look forward to doing more of that in any way that I can. That's what I'm looking to do that aligns with my calling. Good. I love good. it. I hope I to get a it. copy of the book signed. You got it. It's yes. gonna be for baby girl. Yes, yep. definitely. I am so sorry, guys. I think if you are Puerto Rican, it does disqualify you to be Mr. Jamaica. <laughs> I have another question. I have two questions in the chat for you. Let me get those questions up. Um okay, so Marta says define yourself in five words okay. five words you want me to go first candy or you got this i am here to i am here to thrive i am here to thrive five words that's how i define myself good thrive. good question <laughs> yes leader feminine advocate Lover, peaceful, liver. Mm, good job. 
See, that's why they are the queens, guys, right? That's why they were able to be Miss Jamaica. Well, I think I'm going to do that next year. What do you guys think? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where is this another one? Um, okay, here's another one. How important is morale compass is morale compass for your platform? Your morale capacity is so important. Capacity, it's led by your values. Um, and I think, you know, being in this role and being in the spotlight, so many people are looking at you. So you want to make sure that you have good morale and you're walking with a good value because you are a leader. You are a role model. And so I definitely think it's very important because lots of young girls are looking up to me and I am their example. They don't get a lot of good examples on social mm -hmm. media. So I tend to right. want to pour into them good morale capacity. Yeah. Candy. Thanks for your Absol question, Marcus. It's a great question, and I absolutely um, agree with that. And my platform was empowering women, female entrepreneurship and women in business. And I think that when you're talking about uh, being in business, the idea of being in business is providing a product or a service or an experience for a community, an intentional community of people that are looking, that, that's adding value to their life. So for me, that is so aligned with having good morals and wanting to do the do right by your community, right, by your audience, by your people, by everybody that you're helping and to do everything in the best faith, the highest faith as possible. So for me, uh, business is, is it, it, it is a moral calling because it's, it's putting yourself out there to help other people. That is, that is the nature of it, uh, to provide something that's adding the value. And I think that morality is, is, is um, having the moral compass piece is, necessary it's a prerequisite <laughs> right love the answers love the help here um who asked that i think it was mark well marcus marcus asked that um i have a question for both of you in honor of black history month and um we'll talk just a little bit about it because it's about time to cut off and so if anyone have any more questions in the chat please go ahead and add them in um because we're getting down to the cutoff time um, in honor of Black History Month, can both of you tell me which a black, um, maybe there's more than one, I don't know, um, of, a hip, someone in history that helped you or that's your mentor or that's your hero or that's someone that you researched or looked up or love to talk about them when black history um, or throughout your whole life? Is there anyone that you guys can name? So I have somebody I'd like to name who is making history right now. Uh, so one of the things I think is really important about Black History Month is not just looking at looking at the history that took us to where we are today that we're built on and also looking at the movers and shakers that are making history now. And, who, and that to me is so huge, so important. So I would like to shout out a woman that I think has been highlighting women within women, black women who are doing amazing things today. Her name is Dr. Davia Shepard. She is also Jamaican and I, I'm part of her uh, phenomenal community called Ladies Power Lunch. I invite uh, so many yes. women, um, whoever, if you are listening to, please um, look up Ladies Power Lunch. It is a group that I'm a part of and I, this is a uh, complete just, I am a big fan of everything that they're doing uh, and and because she's highlighting other women within the group in so many different ways it's all about visibility but that's making history today and now and i just think and i know this brand it's 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 i see it rising it's just going up and up and i really wanted to just give some visibility and shine a light on all the work that she is doing for women for black women for women just for all of us so that is my, Since you talked my, about right now, I'm going to talk about the past. Okay. And there's two ladies that I tend to keen into with, um, and that's Maya Angelou. I love yes. Maya Angelou's words and poetry. And she was just a breath of fresh air and with how eloquent she would put her wording. Yes. Um, and so I still go back and think of um, Phenomenal Woman as a young teenager. And still I rise and overcoming yes. some of the self-defeating thoughts that I had and those being the poems that I would read over and over again. Um, I also want to highlight Oprah and I say that because I watched Oprah's journey 
and I've seen how where she's coming from. She's been powerful, but you can see her journey with self love. And um, since we talked about beauty before, I want to talk about that because you can look at her now and see the difference in her confidence. And I just think that's just a vision for us as women that you know it's a journey and not a destination. You know, we may have it together in one moment, but we're inspiring each other just going through our challenges, our ups and downs, and just making an impact in both things that we would take for a negative or making an impact in a positive light. So I look up to Oprah, I listen to her motivations and her honesty, her vulnerability, vulnerability, and I love that. I love when we can be vulnerable and say, hey, I'm imperfect, but I love me. I'm imperfect, but... I've made it. I'm imperfect and I've been through it and I want to make an impact. But there's some times that I struggle with what I do. There's some times that I feel fulfilled and that I'm making an impact. And there's a lot of pressure, but I accept that. And I just want to say kudos to them and their queens in their own right. Okay. I love what you shared. And I just want to say, because I know Samantha's really into affirmations, that still I rise is probably one of those mantras that I say all the time. I I have it in different Mm -hmm. places. It's such a powerful one. I was really fortunate to hear Maya Angelou speak live. She came to my my campus, and it was such a moving experience. I feel so fortunate to have been able to have experienced her presence and just her aura in that way. So thank you for highlighting her and bringing her up, and Oprah as well, because, yeah, two phenomenal women. (laughs) I love that poem. So actually, fun fact, I won an award in elementary school, you know, a little trophy for that poem. I made it my own. So I did an essay on Still I Rise. And yeah, yeah, so definitely, definitely been a really big part of my journey. Love it. Great affirmation for sure. We have Monet in the house. Good to have you here. I'm going to give you some confetti because it's your first time catching one of my streams. Then we have two, another question coming up. Um... Candy, this one is for Candy. Um, what do, what you think running for Miss Jamaica next year? Would you go if you could run for Jamaica next year? Would you go for it? I will always run for Jamaica for anything. I love that. <laughs> first and foremost. Um, and so when opportunities present themselves and they're in alignment with your goals, vision, and what in your mission now, I always say go for it. Uh, and so that hopefully answers that question. I would absolutely go for it. I think that, um, you know, when, you, when you're called to do something or, and, and, and then sort of, you know, you see a doorway open or a window open, it's like, hello, go, you know, walk through, go through it. And so I always am looking out for those things happening in my life. And uh, for friends too, if they're, if I'm like, that's a door. That's a doorway. Walk through that doorway. You were just saying you wanted to get to this this in your vision, and that is that is all signs are leading there. So I think that um, whenever, as uh, you know, as people who are dreaming big, whenever there's an opportunity and a doorway that makes sense for you to take it. So, yes, definitely. Um, um, Ulrika Clark, that's my good friend Shorty. She wants to know if you can repeat that group again, Candy. Ladies. Power, power lunch lunch and i think we can um when when it goes up we can post the the link so you can uh explore so really go ahead wonderful. and check it out i have a good question here um from martis martis has been asking some really good questions all night what does your hair represent about you <laughs> what does your hair oh. represent about you well, right now I'm trying to fix it because I tried to give you my crown, Samantha, and since then it's been off. <laughs> Ladies, you, you look beautiful, crown. Sedane. <laughs> no, here for me is um is uh, to me it's your identity. Um, we all use our hair as our identity, um, and it's it's a part of who you are. Um, uh, for me though, my hair. I've never put so much thought into my hair, as, you know, as I do because I'm quite simple, um, but I know that it is definitely a definitely a beauty piece, a feminine piece, and it's definitely a, a way of expressing yourself. You know, sometimes we go through life when we cut our hair. Sometimes we grow it out. You know, it's a definitely a way of expression. So hair has so many meanings, and I think it's definitely different to each individual. 
I, I agree uh, with that. And I'm going to answer and just say right now, I think my hair represents that I'm a, a mom <laughs> with a lot going on. And so quick tip, uh, you know, a little bun, a little wrap, get, find those quick styles that make life easier. <laughs> For, that's for everybody. And so uh, my hair represents about me, I think, is that I like productivity and efficiency and styles that I feel work well and are easy to put together. And so I guess that would uh, say about my uh, pragmatic, I suppose, would be the word. Uh, but I, I just, for me personally, I think, you know, no, not to overthink anything beauty related um, and just have your go-to your go-to things because it, it shouldn't be stressful. Hair should be fun. I love everything that Sudane shared about hair. It's expression. It should be, right. you know, it shouldn't be a source of anything other mm. than good vibes. Good vibes only. <laughs> good vibes only. Good vibes only. If you only. love it, I love it. Right. Good vibes only. Ladies, I am so glad you were here with me tonight. I want to I wanna give you guys an opportunity to talk, to just, if it's maybe two minutes, but talk about something that I may have not asked you tonight um, that you wanted to talk about, you wanted to share, uh, maybe a motivational um, thing, anything that I didn't ask you that you may have said, I wanted to talk about that, but Sam didn't ask me that. Um, go ahead and take it away. Candy, you want to go first? I think you're muted, Candy. I am, I am uh, so I am, um, this is such a powerful conversation. And I think that the one thing I do want to share is how important it is to continue to have conversations. Right. And uh, Samantha, being uh, you're holding the space for conversation. And I just wanted to really thank you for that and for this opportunity because you deserve a lot of spotlight and you are a queen and you deserve a lot of just applause for everything that you're doing with, with this platform of inspiration. And I think it's just so amazing to have these conversations yes. because confidence and, and feeling motivated, it's a muscle. It is a muscle that you hone and you work all the time. And it's not like you get confident once and that's it. No, you're, you're constantly having to do that work. And I think that that is something that a platform like this and a conversation that we're having tonight and the questions that we're receiving and the engagement is just so powerful. And so I just hope that we're helping everybody have a more powerful February as we move move through the year this 2022 year that we we are currently in so thank you thank you for having for doing this you are very welcome and miss a day so something i would miss. like to talk about is the seed that i would like to draw for everyone actually is taking the time to reflect and doing the soul searching to figure out and find out who you are what you're here for what's your purpose because that's the time when you can set boundaries and say no to things that are not for you and say yes to things that are. Because you'll spread yourself thin doing everything for everybody else when you don't know your path. You don't know who exactly where you're going. So especially for those of you who are in school, don't look outside of yourself. Look within. Take the time of looking within. Don't compare yourself. Be authentically you. And focus on that because we're on a journey and every little thing when I think of my path I could think of little experiences from a little girl that showed me my path along the way so I definitely think reflection and taking the time for self awareness and self-care and taking the time to love yourself is so important no matter what title you hold because it all aligns in the future it all comes together especially when you look reflect and look back because hindsight is 2020 yes Definitely. I love it. I love it. There's a question for me in the chat and I'm going to have to ask you guys to answer because I'm not sure if I'm even qualified for this thing. But Candy, you know, don't give away too much information. Um, can you run for Miss Jamaica? I think it's that question is for Samantha. Yes, this is my I don't I don't think I can. I'm not. Um, I think I'm over the age limit, I think. I know. Miss Jamaica. I'm gonna you're not. It depends if you're saying M. If you're running for M I S S, then yes, that's the age of 28. But M S, you have, you know, you can run for that all the way up until wow. Um, you're late. Uh, well, then, 40s, then you, 50s. Absolutely. So the world of 50s and educate everybody yeah. really quickly. 
Fuck yes. No. The, 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 there is, there ha, there is so many pageant systems out there, uh, for women of that, just the whole entire, from all ages, all shapes, all sizes. It's really an incredible, incredible wow. industry. And there's so much, there's the, the big four that, you know, um, everybody knows in this universe, in this USA, Miss Earth, you know, and then there are, uh, oh, there. there's like a million so many more that are incredible so absolutely uh there is a pageant for you um and i would encourage any woman um, of any age to find that pageant if it's something that if you're curious about because it is such an incredible journey i can't say enough about it the confidence the connections just the whole entire experience the sense of purpose so i really encourage um women to see and look for uh you know talk to talk to queens you know you can definitely reach out and ask us uh you know but i think it's just such an incredible thing but yes it's it there is it's accessible <laughs> let me really get let me yes. get ready for let me get ready for it, it. let me yours for sure 2020 2023 <laughs> okay <laughs> go for it Definitely. Have it has sure. been. Yeah, I yeah. have when I was younger, I did um I was interested in that. Um I'm not saying I'm not, but it wasn't something that I um I looked more into the intra- um entrepreneurship, owning my business and doing things like that. But it is something to put on, on the little bucket list. Yeah, I got a long way to get to fifty, so I'll wait till I'm fifty candy and then I'll um I'll think about it. <laughs> but it's something <laughs> on the list. Yes, um it's something on the list and it's probably something that I will think about. I will consider it. I have two beautiful ladies that can guide me that I'll be able to follow in their footsteps. So it's definitely something to think about. Hope that answers your question. But I'm already um, Miss Inspirational 2022. So I already have a crown. for. So, you know, I don't really have to go for Miss Jamaica. But thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and Monet is saying, go for it, Samantha. Um, and here goes mom. She said, ladies, please do come for a part two. You three are incredibly amazing. So inspirational. Thank you very much for being here with us tonight. Thank you for being in the house. It has been an amazing night. And I know you have my little baby there to go take care of. I do not want to keep you all night. So Dane, I know you have a lot, a long list of things to do. So any final remarks before I send you guys to your family and your other life adventures? Thank you everyone for coming and supporting us. Please follow me on Facebook at International Ms. Jamaica and on Instagram at International Ms. Jamaica. Please follow my journey there. I have so many good things coming. I think Candy and I will be doing something special very soon. So I'm looking forward to talking about that and um, looking forward to sharing this journey with you. And of course, if you need me, you can also message me there. I would love to get in contact. And if you need someone to talk to, we are here. Just since we talked about, definitely talked about mental health. If you need more inspiration or you have any questions for us, you can contact me there. Um, Candy, and I do have one more question. There's some, that will be our last question for the night, Martis. Um, but go ahead, Candy. And I was just going to share that. Uh, feel free to connect with me over on Instagram at on her mission, and uh, for any brand strategy, productivity, and motivation, which is what we share on that page. So I am just really honored to have been part of the conversation tonight. This was great. Both of you are glowing, and Sudan, I'm so excited for you. So this is this is really wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Candy. Final question. Finish the statement. When I go to sleep tonight, what I take away from today will be. Gratitude. Gratitude. Good one. She took my answer. (laughs) (laughs) Great minds. Think alike. (laughs) She did. She took my answer. So let me think of something else. Um, I'll take away confirmation. And I'm going to answer that that with confidence. This is always, it's always a confirmation when you're on the right path that the Lord aligns you with the right people. Yes. So confirmation. Definitely. And confidence for me to continue on this journey as well. And not, and to keep pushing and keep doing better and better and better and better every day. So that is our answers.
Um, and I have Monet that wants to someday be Miss Jamaica. So there you go, honey. Yes, yes Monet, here. we're rooting for you. To God, you do that. So that's definitely something you can do. Okay. Thank you, ladies, for being here with me tonight. It was an awesome night. And I know we will do it again soon before you guys get too busy in your lives. Um, so, Dane, again, I am super, super proud of you. I will be rooting for you, definitely rooting for you um, this coming September. Candy, you know, love, the love is here, the love is here, the love is here. Um, I love you both. Thank you so much for being here. You guys are able to go. I will sit around and talk with the, the guys for a little bit before they go and then send them off. But I'll let you ladies go ahead and have a great, great rest of your evening. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you so much for having us. Thank You're you, so Samantha. welcome. You're it's so welcome. Have a good night. Thank you, everybody. Love you guys. All right. Yes, guys. How are you guys? I'm glad that you guys were able to be a part of this tonight. Um, Monet, you can definitely be Miss Jamaica if you want to be. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I hope you guys are doing great. I'm not going to be too much longer. It was my pleasure to meet you. Yes, CJ, it was a great night. I'm glad that you were here, CJ, to be a part, to, to say you spoke to Miss International Miss Jamaica. I am glad that you're able to be here. And I know that you are proud to say that. Samantha, Samantha maybe she can um, go for it. She will go for it. If that's what she wants, Monet can definitely go for it. She definitely can go for it. And Monet is saying bye. Yes, yeah, so thank you guys so much for being in the chat tonight. I will be back again on Tuesday. Tuesday, um, I think we're going to go ahead and do All You Need to Know About Jamaica. We missed that on Tuesday, so we'll be doing that next week, Tuesday. So be sure to be in the house again. Um, well, I'm glad to, because of the first come, and I'm not going to lie, I enjoy this. I'm glad you did, Monet. I'm glad you did. I'm glad to have you here as well. Okay, so thank you guys. I will see you guys. Um, let me give you guys a countdown because I know you guys are going to be like, uh, Sam, give you a little chit chat. Um, you guys know where to find me um, on all my social media is Samantha Just Inspire. Um, yes, CJ, I will see you tomorrow. I will be seeing you tomorrow. So you guys have a great night and I'll probably see you guys in Nitro stream. Okay. So you guys can connect with me and share, 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 and let all your friends know to come and check out the stream again next week. Bye, uh, Monet. I love you too, Monet. Have a good night. Have a really good night. Um, amazing info and keep up the great work. Thank you so much, Success Driven. Bye, Shorty. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for being here. Have a great night as well. I'm going to end so I can talk to my guests in the back. Bye, bye. God bless you too. God bless you as well. I will see you guys back again Tuesday at 8.30 um, if my life spare. Bye, guys. <laughs>